everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be using this Disney Frozen waffle maker that features Olaf. I found this at my local Walmart. It's been out for a while, so I found it on clearance for only $20. The original price, however, is $24.94. Every time I would go into Walmart, I considered buying this, but when I saw it on clearance, I decided I couldn't pass it up, because after all, Maybe I wouldn't be able to find it again. Here is the waffle maker right out of the box. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be, but I really like that they feature Olaf on the very top, surrounded by snowflakes. So let's open up the waffle maker, and inside there are two sides to Olaf. One side is smooth, and you can definitely see some of the features of Olaf. And then the other side has been waffleized. Just a quick side note, the cord that the maker comes with is not very long. It's maybe about 16 inches long, so you're either going to need an extension cord or you're going to need to use the maker really close to a socket. Also in the box, you get these handy instructions. And I really like this tool. This is so you can easily get your waffles out without burning your fingers. So I have here my waffle iron that's been plugged in for a little while. I like how the little light lights up at the very bottom. Before I plugged it in, I sprayed it with a little bit of oil. And then on the right, I do have my waffle ingredients with a bowl. I decided to go all out and get the waffle mix with the chocolate chips inside. Mmm, can't go wrong there. And then here are my wet ingredients. Then I'll give them a little mixy mixy. Surprisingly, my waffle iron seems pretty hot by now, so I will pour in my mix, starting with the biggest parts of Olaf first. They say to do that in the instructions because the smaller parts of Olaf will cook faster. So I'm just going to close my waffle iron, and hopefully these will cook pretty fast. Hey! Do I smell waffles? Yeah, Pinky? Oh, are they cooked yet? I'm starving! I don't know, Pinky. Let me check. Let's see here. Uh, nope. Don't look quite uh, done yet, Pinky. Are they done yet? I'll check again, Pinky. No, Pinky, they're not done yet. This is taking forever! Let's hope so. Now I'm getting really hungry. Let's just take a look at them underneath. Eh, that's probably good enough. I'm gonna take them out of the waffle iron now. After just a few short minutes of waiting for Olaf to cool down, I was easily able to cut away the extra pieces of batter so that you could see Olaf's shape a lot better. Hey, let's stop looking at him and start eating him. Hmm, well that's kind of an interesting way to look at it, Pinky. How about I'll give you this Olaf arm? Woo! Thank you! I think I'll have a little bite of some Olaf arm too. Mmm! Delicious! This came out really well and I'm so glad that I had the chocolate chip version. Delicious! So what do you think, Pinky? Mmm! This is delicious! Pinky approved! Overall, I'm pretty happy with this waffle maker. It took a very short time for it to heat up. I love the fork accessory, and I think Olaf came out looking pretty much like Olaf. You could probably see him a lot better though if I didn't use my chocolate chips. If you want to make a perfect looking Olaf, I would purchase something like a ketchup bottle or some sort of a squeeze bottle so that you can get the batter into the waffle maker a lot easier. Cleaning the waffle iron, however, might be a different story. There are a ton of little tiny parts inside the waffle iron, and you're not supposed to submerge it in water, so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna clean it out yet. I may just do several wipe downs with my kitchen rag. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me make some Olaf waffles, and if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thanks again guys, we'll see you in the next video.